CCA workbench. It goes on over here, Dave. It now goes we on. we got some products. Yes, well, we're going to start. we got these uh, RCI optics. These are uh, the Monster Hole 2, 2.0s. And I, I, was, I monitor Facebook all the time. And yeah. I saw a fellow said, hey, I just got my new op RCI optics. And about 15 people went on there and said, oh, man, I love those things for the lagoon, the lagoon, the lagoon. So I said, I'm going to have to check these things out. So I had the boy send them to me, and they're very nice sunglasses, the RC Optics Monster Holes. These um, are you know, very clear uh, lenses, uh, nice polarization. These have a, a new Helios 2.0, I mean 2.2, some kind of radius curve where they can actually curve the, the lens and keep it really highly polarized. It uh, has anti-reflective coatings inside and out, uh, and also a really uh, a good coating that keeps water and dust off of them. Huh. Um, you know, so it doesn't stick to them, and, and they're incredibly light, and I really like them. They're really nice sunglasses. I wish we could put that coating on that Chevy truck. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? It gets dust dusty every week. It? The RCI optics, they, those won't get dusty on you. Yes, sir. All right, this is a, a new, uh, it's a teaser. And, you know, I we usually, when we're fishing for, for marlins or sailfish or whatever, we usually have a couple of squid chains out. Well, this is the new Squid Nation billfish. Squid Nation. Squid Nation. It's the billfish flippy floppy thing. And that's what they call it, is the billfish flippy floppy thing. There's two of them here. And what we'll do is we'll run this off the, you know, off the fly bridge on, on, a, on a fly bridge teaser reel. Right. And we'll hope that a sailfish or a blue marlin will come up to it and, we'll, and eat it. You know, they'll either have a squids off the back of these things, or two or three squids off the back, or they'll have a bird like this one. This one's got a bird on the end. Oh, bird. bird is the word. So, you know, and what that does is when they, <laughs> they come up there and, and, and take a look at that thing all flipping, flopping in around and want to take a look at it and eat it, and, and danged if they don't, because it's amazing. I wouldn't, you wouldn't even think that something would even come near that thing, but Can they you imagine sitting at the design table? So we're going to name this thing. The Flip flippity floppy thing. I don't know, flip floppy something. Now, now, we had these on a second ago. These are the Ray Rochers, uh, new, their fluorocarbon, uh, tournament grade. These are the tournament grades, oh. and these have eight hooks. You remember he was even uh, old, uh, what's his name? Jimbo. Jimbo. He was talking about the you know filling up the six hooks. Well, these have eight, eight. and all of, all of these R and R's now have eight. There's the fluorocarbon with the six pound uh, main line and a four pound branch. This is for the when they're the scariest of scary. When they're really not eating very well, and you want to be getting down to the really nitty gritty and not catching. You know, big ones, and then they, and they have other ones with the ten-pound fluorocarbon and the six-pound branches, which is like regular if you just want to catch pogies and, and and whatnot. You know, and they're eating good. Also, they have you know different colored heads. They have the greens. And this one has the green and red. You can get mix mix and max with the green and red. Green some and red. Guys, some guys will so say, you have port, "I got to have green. I got to have red." Baits. Exactly. They do the same thing. <laughs> well, they, guys are very you know guys I, get their sabikis. They get real. You I know. know. They, they, so what else? Going. You got some rubber also, bands. Also, at? well, these are the rigging bands. These are new from R and R as well, and these are made out of this incredible stuff. They make them in black and clear. But these are the rigging bands that you put on your live baits. You use a little needle and put them through their nose, and this this stuff is almost indestructible. It won't it hardly break. It's hard to break these things. Dave, so I just know where you're going with this. If you hit me, I won't the hit you with, with that thing. I won't hit you with one. But it's on. I mean, these things are are if you're using little live baits, these things are perfect for it. And R and R, you know, Ray Rocher, he's the king of live baits anyway. I know. So if he's making stuff, he's definitely the master. Use it. Oh, well, you know. Use it. Correct. Well, th this is the last product I have. These are skinnets. And what these are, are little, uh, it's, 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 it's like a ballyhoo condom, I'll tell you what it is. It, it goes, what? it goes, you what? heard me, it goes, no, it goes, didn't. it goes over the top of a bait and it keeps it from washing out. You know, you put this thing down over your finger and then you roll it off and you put, and you put it back through the hook. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I, I couldn't put one of these things on in, in, in any way, but <laughs> just with the lights and stuff, I couldn't, never, no way to do it. But anyway. <laughs> You got you to put it through. You got to put the put your hook through there, and it goes and it goes down completely over the We're, ballyhoo. It's over. It goes it's completely over. over the ballyhoo. No, seriously, there it goes. it'll Mom, keep your right? ballyhoo from washing out, and it'll and it'll, and it's and it keeps it weedless. And you know, if you're using a lot of ballyhoos and you're buying them, they're all frozen and stuff. These things will protect your ballyhoos. Oh, that's good to have your stuff protected. All that's right, right. Bree, just Don't take it. Say anything. Take it, please, Don't say Bree. Anything. No. Skin it. Scarred me for life. 